This is a snow in your terminal. The snowflakes are falling. The snow drifts are growing and the moon is shining. All of that is written in Python and I'll show you how. First, hello by the way. Such applications when we draw something in terminal usually call curses applications. Most epic and famous examples are Nano, the text editor, and HTOP, process manager. Unsurprisingly, Python has built-in curses module for building such interfaces. Let's also write usual boilerplate, which is if name equals main, and check if it's wired up. Yeah, Python snow term that tie. Yeah, it's wired up. And I'll increase font a little bit here and in my Emacs. We will be using the Curses wrapper, which will set up our terminal for drawing and reset it back after we're done with it. It takes a callback function in which we will be doing our black terminal magic. Wrapper passes the window object into this callback which we will be using for actual drawing. Let's start with the main loop, where the first thing we'll do is refreshing our window. It should fill the terminal with the default color, which is black. And it does. Well, not exactly, because in my terminal black is redefined by custom color scheme, but we'll deal with this later. Also, notice the cursor in the upper left corner. Let's hide it out. For this, we'll call curses that curse set 0. Here's the cursor and it should disappear. And it does. Let's draw a snowflake finally. For this we'll be calling window dot at ch which accept the role, the column and the character itself. Now you should be able to see a little snowflake on the window. Let's draw more of them. For this to be able to distinguish them We'll be calling some Emacs magic. Yeah, right. Increasing the column and increasing the role. Now you should be able to see more of them. Nicely aligned. Okay, let's start adding logic. First, let's get rid of all of that. Now we'll need a collection to store our snowflakes. And it will be a dictionary instead of list for two reasons I'll explain later. Next, we need a function to produce snowflakes. I'll call it create snowflake. The snowflake character can be any of a star, a plus sign, or a dot, and we need one of them randomly, which means random that choice. And we also need import random. And we should return the character but also its initial position, which consists of the row, which always zero at the beginning, and its column, which should be anywhere between the zero and the window width, which we can obtain from the window object itself by calling its function window.getMaxYX. Now let's choose our column, it's random, that rand range between 0, 0 and width. I also want to extract this into something more conveniently named, because we will be using this multiple times in our code. Let's call it uh, max dimensions, and this will be the function which will accept window and yeah, return height and width. Also, this will be the width, width, which is the first argument. Create snowflake should accept window and pass it to max dimensions. Now, let's create snowflake. and draw it immediately. Now let's look at the results. <laughs> cool, right? I think we should slow this down a bit. Uh, like time, sleep, for every 
2200 milliseconds and we should import time now let's look at it again and yeah I think it's much better so let's move on now we should make our snowflakes fall for this we'll store uh, every our snowflake in our dictionary coordinates together will be the key and the character will be the value on each iteration we'll move every existing snowflakes before creating the new one and then we'll display them on the window together let's implement updating snowflakes function which takes snowflakes or let's rather call it previous now let's create the new dictionary which will contain updated snowflakes and will iterate over the old dictionary where key is coordinates row and column and the value is character we increment the row we store the updated snowflake And we return new dictionary. Now let's implement draw snowflakes, which takes snowflakes and the window. We iterate over the snowflakes. And we draw them. Let's check how it looks like now. Cool. Looks like some ASCII matrix. Apparently, we have to clear window before drawing something on it. Let's call a window that clear. And we call a refresh after we call draw snowflakes. Okay, let's check this out. But this time, instead of constantly switching to terminal, we'll bring it here. We'll make it smaller, right? Yeah, put it over there. Maybe a little bit bigger. Yes, let's call the file. Okay, it looks like snow. Cool, right? And it fails as soon as the first snowflake reaches the bottom because we never checked any boundaries while we're drawing them. Let's quickly fix that. In our draw snowflakes function, we'll call the max dimensions, which give us the height and the width. And we put a guard before we draw in the snowflake. If the row is bigger than height or a column, is bigger than width then we continue otherwise we draw the snowflakes let's check that one more time to see if it works and it does not and in order to work we should shrink our dimensions by just a little bit like a two let's check it one more time and 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 yeah yeah now it works and i want to speed this up just a little bit because it's too slow how about 0 0.1 yeah it's much faster now cool but if we need our snow drifts grow we want our snowflakes to stay on the bottom edge of the terminal and on top of each other let's make this happen in our move snowflakes function we should check if the new row is bigger than height 
which we obtain from the max dimensions which accept window which we also need here and if new row exceeds height we back it up by minus one let's check that out really quick and yes yeah, snowflakes stay on the bottom of the screen now we need them to stay on top of each other for this we'll add one more check here if previous dictionary already contains the snowflake at the new position new row and column and let's check that out real quick and uh, yeah it works snowflakes stay on top of each other cool and this is the main reason why i choose snowflakes to be a dictionary to be able to check quickly uh, for the existing one without needing to iterate over the whole list and that's the second reason free the duplication just in case now let's not forget about the moon and since the moon has to be yellow let's handle colors right away in our main function we initialize curses with the yellow color being under the number one init pair one curses dot color yellow we can't use zero here because zero is taken by black and white and this number means background zero means black which we're using actually now let's normalize our default colors which is curses color black with three zero for rgb because if you uh, let's delete this if you notice it a bit bluish right so when we normalize it it will be black as hell also let's make our white to be uh, white to be maximum rgb which is 1000 1000 and 1000 for some reason and we'll make our yellow yellow to be 1000 1000 and 0 and we should not forget to add curses that uh, in it color right let's check that out and yeah black is truly black now now we can draw a moon draw the moon will be the function draw moon which will take a window first we'll initialize symbols representing the moon and i have them in my clipboard don't judge me it's pain in the ass to type manually every time next we'll calculate start column for our moon which will get from the max dimensions it accepts window and returns as the first return value our columns it will be something 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 God, jesus english it will be something at the upper right corner like minus 10 for example then we declare that we want to draw all characters in yellow it's window adder set curses color color pair yes one because we declared yellow as first pair then we'll draw our moon in a nested loop with using python enumerate for row line in a new enumerate moon start equal one because we want to start with the first row and for column symbol in enumerate moon and start is start column yes window at ch our favorite adding character function which accepts row column and the symbol and we reset back our colors to black and white window after set curses color pair which is zero now let's draw the moon in a loop and see how it works 
draw moon and then <laughs> the moon is not defined right because we need to pass a window here and now stack bytes or str oh yeah right because in the inner loop we should pass not the moon but the line line and yeah now moon is drawing correctly great isn't it seems like it's working the full code of the small screen saver is available on my github link in the video description it has more safety checks proper terminal resize support and speed configuration I'll also leave a Curses module documentation link in the video description if you want to play with it yourself. Don't hesitate to give a like to this video and subscribe for more.